hello hello beautiful virgo and welcome into my channel the work is all my name is reem and welcome into your reading this is going to be for sun moon rising venus virgo or anyone for that matter even if you're not a virgo i trust that there is something in here for you so please use your intuition and your discernment at all times um virgo i just feel like you and i like we're just i, I don't know i I love you guys so very much. Um, it's always an honor to read for you. You guys take me to spaces of discovery. Uh, and I am, I'm just honored to go into those spaces and visit them and explore them. And it's just an interesting discovery as a messenger. Uh, so just thank you. Thank you. I, it, it, it's an honor. So, um, I did your uh, ch uh, scrying channeled messages. See, now I'm getting tongue tied. I did your scrying channeled messages on two days. Okay, so February 21st, and then on leap day, I received a second vision on February 29th. Um, but initially, I received a sensation, and that sensation was anticipation. And this is not the first time that you or I in your space have felt anticipation in your energy. It's almost like suspense uh, constantly when we're reading your energy. And this is not to be dramatic. It's because this is what the what the energy is. The energy is big the energy is massive it's an it's interdimensional and when you feel and you see energy you you are like a kid in a candy store um it's magic and um you know when you connect with spirit the way that you do and you connect with worlds um in different spaces and time you can't help but feel giddy you can't help but feel elated and um i thank you for that i thank you for that because it feels like for the first time i am able to find camaraderie in that space like i don't feel alone um and i feel like this is part of your message um there's something about your fantasy worlds because I know that you get in your head a lot um, and I'm not trying to say that that's a bad thing. There's something about the way you perceive the world. There's something about your travel. There's something about your journey within spaces that people do not venture in or people do not see is a space, but you know that that is a space and time that you can create a world. And there's this element of one day, one day, one day, and then day one, this anticipation. I feel like... Um, you're moving very differently. There's something about your energy that has shifted and I felt you and I, I say this a lot because you change often but you don't change in a direction that is away from your authenticity. I feel like you're moving more authentically and there are people that are viewing you and looking at you like, oh, Virgo is moving differently, but they don't comprehend or realize that you are just moving more authentically you. And I feel like this is what you are recognizing within self, but it's not just a recognition, it's a knowing of who you are. And I want to say that I'm very proud of you and I congratulate you for that because it truly is one of the most empowering feelings of this world. Um, I saw a, a vision of someone writing and the writing was, it appeared on the wall. So it almost seemed like there was someone who was writing behind the wall or they were like writing in the sky and it appeared on the wall that I was seeing and this feels like a soul contract so I don't know what this is um where we will unfold it with the cards and the imagery and the further channeled messages that we receive as this unfolds for us and then on February 29th of 2024 um, I received a vision of a thousand little seeds that turned to a thousand little trees that were breathing life into you because you have given life unto them. So they are breathing life into you, Virgo. Um, 
I feel like this vision that I received on leap day is also very powerful and symbolic that you have leaped into this new world that we saw in your last month uh, reading in that vision of you being in the tunnel, you being with in a cycle within a cycle to to receive the this magical reserve of energy for your next phase and i feel like for a majority of you you have received that magical reserve of energy from your past self and you are integrating with it and now you are jumping in you're jumping into that new world that you see and this new world that you see is what we're going to focus on here today um Sorry, I'm getting something about paper clips and what the fuck. <laughs> There's something very symbolic about paper clips um, and connecting to this world. You know, when you like clip two papers together. There's something about two things coming together, but they showed me very specifically like a paper clip clipping it together. It's very symbolic. Anyways, I'm... I apologize. It's weird. Um, so we just go with the flow. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so we're focusing a lot on this world, okay? This world that you see, um, which is very symbolic, again, of like, you see the world so differently, Virgo, and you see spaces that, again, like other people don't see. And within the spaces in the unseen realms, you build worlds in those unseen spaces and that's you bring them to life. And I feel like that's the seeds, the thousand little seeds that turn to a thousand little trees um, is what I'm seeing here. And then I got a lot of breath work because trees and oxygen and life and all of that and trees are also material and tangibility. So we're getting into the realm of like earth matter consciousness and then we're also getting into the spirits of the wind with the image of Pocahontas coming through and your breathing and your breath work making more space around you with every inhalation and release with every exhalation. There's a lot of... Um, momentums and like movements momentums there's a lot of movements within the unseen spaces but what's really interesting is you can see them you can see them because what you're creating right now is intentional it's intentional you have a fantasy inside of your head right now there's a world in an unseen space it resides here and it's it's going to become real and that's this your th seeds okay are inside of your head the thousand little seeds and then they turn into a thousand little trees that's what i'm seeing here and then regarding love there will be many firsts with this person i don't know if you know this person right now I don't know if you're going to be meeting this person, but there's going to be a lot of firsts with this person. Um, and then I also heard, and on the first day, and like I saw someone writing in their journal, and on the first day. Um, so I feel like something significant is occurring for you. I feel like you have been building this world um, and creating this world and... I just feel like this world is going to come to life. Like, that's just what I feel. That's what I feel. Um, if you don't resonate with me, you can, you just need to leave with grace. Like, there, you don't need to tell me anything. I'm not going to take offense. If you resonate with me, great. If you don't, you don't. Like, there's no hard feelings. There are other readers out there. There's other beautiful readers. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just, you know, we're, 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 moving authentically so it, either you align or you don't so let's just get into the cards let's just continue to flow with spirit thank you spirit of the most high thank you to my ancestors known and unknown thank you to goddess sanana ishtar thank you for your presence your power your protection in this space today. Messages for Virgo, please. 
and thank you virgo for allowing me to read for you today i um, mean um this is the Re return to spirit oracle deck sorry vibrational wow okay you know what's just really crazy is like the way i'm seeing this energy right now is these are all of the seeds see this is this is your mind right now like your mind is so fucking powerful excuse my language i do swear um this is your mind right here this and these are all the seeds these are all the seeds that are vibrating. They're all vibrating in the space within your mind, but they're being like, it's like, it's this projection. They're projecting out. This also looks like a tunnel. This also looks like a tunnel. And again, all of this is unseen, but you can see it. I know you can see it. If anything, you can feel it. Most definitely. Most definitely. And when we talk about vibration, we talk about the very energy that is emanating from your body, from your mind. When we talk about frequency, we talk about frequency in the ethers and the universe. But vibration is the energy that is coming out of you. That's what we're talking about. That's what I felt with you. Look at this faith card. It looks like um, wings. I'm going to shuffle and see if this comes out. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's wings. The seeds are moving. And I know that's really wild to like say, but the seeds are in your head right now. They're in the fantasy world. They've all, you've all, it's like you've given with every thought, with every like, because you are so meticulous, you are so intentional, and you are deliberate with your movement, you're intentional with your movement, you are just meticulous with the things that you are creating in this fantasy world of yours, like every thing has its purpose in this world of yours, and that's these seeds that I'm seeing here. And they're being pushed out. They're being projected out. They're going to turn. It's going to materialize. Intuition. Yeah, look at this shifting. Divinity. Oh my God, Virgo. Yeah, look, manifest. Okay. Yeah. You're in your you're in your co-creator archetypal energy. So, I have a message here for um someone regarding their mediumship capabilities. You are feeling intuitively intuitively that you have a mediumship capability. I feel like for some of you you may not believe it. But this gift is from God. This gift is from divinity. This gift is from your ancestors. You are not the only mediumship in your family. You have a lineage of mediums. Okay? I feel like some of you are coming to this knowledge, coming to this understanding in your gifts of working with spirits who have passed and mediums as a medium are going to increase. Okay, they're going to shift. They're going to shift. That's a message. Someone really needs to hear that. You have more of this like winged like energy here. Just like how we saw in that faith card. But there's a rainbow frequency. And this green winged like energy. But when I associate green, I associate green with um, heart chakra. Yes. But also green nature green as in nature i'm seeing um 
I'm seeing the seeds right now. It's interesting that I received that vision on leap day. Again, that's also very symbolic because I feel like these seeds are leaping from your mind. And they're going through this tunnel. That's the same tunnel. The same tunnel. See, I, your reading is connected. So this is the same tunnel that you were just in. This is the same tunnel that you were just in. Where you were receiving the magical reserve of energy to take you to this next phase. And you're leaping. You're leaping into this new phase of yours. I feel like you're in it. I feel like some of you are still moving through this tunnel, but some of you, you're in your new phase. And all of the seeds from your mind, this world that you have created in your mind, in your fantasy world, they're all being projected through this tunnel right now and moving through space and time. See all this energy that's kind of swirling around? I feel like I always sneeze in your space. <laughs> um, I know this as intuition, but this is how I'm seeing it. This is how I'm seeing the seeds move. And it's going to be it's going to be tangible. There's also something here with divinity. What I'm really focused on is that light at the bottom right there. That's what I'm focused on right there. It's like nothing else really matters in this card except for that light right there. Something is starting out really small for you. This anticipation of one day, one day, one day, and then experiencing this day one. Experiencing this day one. Yeah, more spirals. More spiraling. You are on the verge of a lucky break. I'm telling you, this spiraling energy. You have your pure passion. Remember that rose? Do some soul searching to find your true purpose. You have a special mission to fulfill. new world new world there's a whole lot of fresh opportunities waiting for you just take the chance but this is the new world i'm telling you it, it's here look at the look at the trees look at the thousand trees look at the trees i'm i'm telling you open door if there if other options seem closed to you let them go there's another way open to you now there's this this world is open now you've opened this new world and it, it's the exact same world that you have fantasized about for i don't know how long it's it's crazy because i'm seeing this as um this world of yours it almost looked like there was just a rose in that space. Like I'm seeing a rose in this world. If it, Okay, so the way I'm seeing it is that it was just... Um, imagine like this uh, complete barren land. Like nothing is there. Nothing exists. And then you just see a rose. And something... This is a symbol of hope. This is a symbol of hope. I feel like there's something in your external reality that you saw was like barren or that you saw was empty or you saw it wasn't what you wanted or it wasn't exactly what you wanted to experience. It wasn't what you desired or longed for, but you're, you're grateful. 
you're grateful for the things that you have experienced, but there's something inside of you that is is longing to to experience something else that your soul knows about, that your soul understands, that you understand. And it's like you're looking out into this landscape and it's just a rose in the center of it. And you're like, that's okay. That's a symbol of hope right there. I could do something with that. See, you're the kind of person that will will take this rose and you will you will create with it. Whereas some people will look at this landscape and see that rose and say, well, there's nothing there. But you saw hope in a space. This is what I'm talking about. You see hope in spaces that other people see nothing in. They don't see hope. They don't see love. They don't see magic. But you do. You see in the unseen spaces. You are the one that sees a rose and you're telling other people you don't see that there. You don't see the rose there. And they're like, no, I don't. I do. I see the rose there. Because you're pure. You are pure. Imagine like walking in a room and everyone has this like ener- different energy to them, right? Purity, innocence, magic. People have their own sense of energy. People have their own vibration. People have their own intuition. People have their own connection to divinity. People see God and divinity everywhere. Some people don't see God and divinity everywhere. But you see divinity and God in places that other people do not see. You see it everywhere, Virgo. And you're walking in spaces with people all around you. And it's like people are looking at an empty space and you're just like, this is not empty. This is not empty. This is vacant. I can, right? This is vacant. I can take up space here. I can take up space here. And that's what you conjured up in your mind. That's what you did in your mind. I see the rose. I see the rose. And you used that rose. You used this energy. And you took the thousand little seeds from this one rose. And they're turning to a thousand little trees in this new world of yours that the door has opened to that you are now. It's, it's here. It's manifested. It's here. It's here. That's this day one. You've been doing this for a long ass time. You've been creating this for a long ass time. But let me tell you something. Virgos, you hold on to your vision. You hold on to to your vision. You are the one sign (laughs) that I admire. Because when you have a vision, you hold on to it. When you don't see something external in your reality that matches your fantasy, you just keep, keep working at it. You keep working at it. You do not let it go. You do not let it go where other people would let it go because they don't see it and they get frustrated and they move on. You stick with it. You stick with it. And this is what I'm this is what I'm telling you right. This is this anticipation. You know something is brewing and you're sticking with something because you know you know your power. You know what this can turn into. And these trees are going to breathe life into you because you have gave you have given this life. That is the power of co-creator archetypal energy. We give life. Open doors. You're doing this with your whole heart. You're doing this with your passion. What does it mean? What does it mean when I say these trees are breathing life into you? Your manifestations, your creations are breathing life into you. What does that mean for you? 
angelic attunement, divine support. Look at this. Look at this light. Look at you. Voice activation. Angelic attunement. Divinity. When your manifestations breathe life into you, it's a gift. It's a gift. You give it life, they give you life in return. Or the, the very thing that you are creating. It's a gift. A gift that you give and a gift that you receive. I want you to understand that. And let me tell you something. You have your karmic release. I mean, you guys have been karmically releasing and releasing and releasing and releasing. Let me tell you something about you right now. You have released so much and healed the lineage. Your ancestors are proud of you. Your ancestors say thank you. Because you didn't just do this for you. You did this for them. And you're not just manifesting for you either. You're not, you're not selfish pricks. You're, you're creating with the blessings that you have and the power that you have because you know that these blessings and these gifts and these manifestations that are breathing life into you are going to breathe life into other people that you love wholeheartedly. And I've said this many times before. I don't know if I said this to you, but here I am saying this to you now. God in the universe blesses those. Angelic attunement. God in the universe blesses those who bless other people with the blessings that they have been given. That is abundance. Those are divine blessings. You have... <laughs> You have an angelic frequency to you, honey. You have this... Um, you have this ability... Again, to see things that other people cannot see. And you see those spaces as vacant and you step into those spaces and you create in those spaces. You create your sanctuary. You create your hermit's cave. You create and you create and you create even when other people do not see. People do not see your hermit's cave. I do. I see it. But some people do not see your hermit's cave. When someone is angelically attuned like you, they see the worlds that you have created. They see the realms that you reside in. They see the worlds and the fantasies that you go to in your mind. And they see the worlds that have manifested in your reality. You did that. I did this reading for you once before. That you are going to be connecting with someone that is going to see the worlds that you have created and you're going to welcome them in. You're going to welcome and welcome them in. Your door is open. Your door is open for people to see the divinity that you see, to see the worlds that you see. And this isn't easy for you to open your door. This isn't easy for you to let people in and I get it. I get it, my love. I get it. But I'm telling you right now, you are going to let people in whom are angelically attuned like you. Like you. You may be meeting your soul family, your soul tribe, or your soulmate. You may be going on through this journey with your soulmate. And you're both getting angelically attuned. A 
Okay, <laughs> that's the, uh, hold on. <laughs> okay, hold on. So remember that light, that light that I saw right here? I'm like, I keep fixating, like, there's so much beauty in this card, but all I could see is this light right there at the bottom. It's this open door. Look at the light. The light from the open door is there. See, do you see what I mean? Like, it's like, that's the space that you see. That's the door and the portals and the spaces that you see that no one else sees. Like, who would see that color? Who would see that light right there, right at the bottom? Who would see that? Who? You would focus on this. You would focus on this. You wouldn't think that this was important. You wouldn't think that this was grace. You wouldn't think that that was divinity. You didn't think that that was hope. You didn't think that that rose had a thousand little seeds that could turn to a thousand little trees, but you did. You did. Listen, you see something that is right now in your in your world, in your space. You see something that other people do not, and that is your God-given gift. This is your God-given gift. Please trust that. You may look crazy. You may look nuts to other people. But please trust that because that is your God-given gift. At the bottom of that was um, Spirit Guides Confirmation and Great Lessons. So they're confirming that. There's the tree. I don't know why that just made me cry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why this made me cry. You're just so fucking beautiful. Like, yes. Akashic Records, clearing old stories, releasing past lives, and freedom. This made me cry because of the trees. Because of the trees. Again, this light. Look at this light. Look at this light. You know what I'm getting here? Remember we were talking about that tunnel? And we were talking about your hermit cave? Your, um, the sanctuary, the space that you went into, you retreated back into your hermit, hermit cave. Um, and you started to tap into your magical reserve of energy. I'm seeing a door. This was the rose in the other card, right? Was it this one? This Okay, so this card. This is where we, we were talking about the magical reserve of energy in your hermit cave. Please tell me why. All of a sudden this light that I'm just so fixated on because this is your God-given gift to see ways and things that other people do not see. You see spaces and worlds that other people do not see. And you create in those spaces. Please tell me why that when you were in this tunnel, when you were integrating with this reserve of energy that you didn't know that you had, and you didn't even think that you needed, but you need you need it to get you to this next level that now it's here. And this next level is the world that we saw in the vision that you created, that you're creating. Please tell me why I literally burst into tears because I what this, what you saw here is a doorway. <laughs> bear with me, is a doorway that appeared in your hermit cave. In this time, something different appeared in this cave. Remember, I said that in that reading. I said, there's something else in there with you. This power, but there's also this door that opened when you integrated with this.
Does that make sense? Like, I hope I'm saying that right because that's how I'm seeing it. That's how I'm seeing this right now. That's why it made me just burst into emotions. Because you got your reserve of energy. You integrated with it. And again, I felt that cycle was at least six to six months to a year. And some of you, when I did that reading, you've already been doing that. And then this light appeared in your hermit cave. And you opened the door. And you walked out into your new world. And you saw the thousand little trees. You're seeing your creations. This is day one. This is day one. You're seeing your creations. And on the first day. And remember, I saw someone writing. I saw, this is how we fucking started the reading. I saw someone writing on a wall. Their fucking soul contract and here you have a kashic records sorry for swearing i'm just feeling it and on the first day and on the first day sacred contract akashic records You have cleared your karmic stories. And right now you are rewriting them. You are rewriting them. So what I saw of the writing on the wall is you writing this new world that you're stepping into. And you're going to journal and mark in your calendar and on the first day and on this day, this happened this happened and i did this reading for you again all your readings are freaking connected i did this reading for you a few months ago where i said your your future self was speaking with you your future self was telling you it's okay to keep coming it's okay to keep it's okay keep moving keep moving keep moving we're here we made it you have cleared past lives you have cleared the karmic board i mean your ancestors were here saying karmic release i don't know where that card is now but it's we saw it right <laughs> somewhere <gasps> and i saw your future self pour the ace of cups on your path and that was like an indication for you to to keep walking to keep moving to keep to don't give up. I feel like you're stepping into your God-given gift right now. I feel like you're really understanding how it works. You're understanding that you are a co-creator. You're understanding that, yes, divinity and God and the universe do have a plan for you, but you also are a powerful co-creator. So the very new thing that you are creating now, your higher self, I saw your higher self write it. I literally saw that. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, that is, I don't know why I'm getting so emotional. It's 111. It's 111. Let me get my phone. It's 111. I'm telling you, when you like see and feel divinity and you feel energy, people actually think you're dramatic and you're fucking nuts and you're crazy when really like we're just so fucking angelically attuned. You're just like, you don't, you don't see this. You don't feel this. Please keep going. Please keep going. 
you're 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 doing something amazing you're doing something incredible you're reaching a milestone you're reaching a milestone look at this fulfill I, I kid you fucking not look at the look at the bottom fulfilling soul contracts remembering who you are soul star activation and we did for you a reading about soul star day one I'm sorry for getting so emotional in your space. It's just, it's beautiful. You're beautiful. How the divine is in your space is, is beautiful. Your angelic frequency is beautiful. And, and if you ever doubt your gifts, if you ever doubt what you see, how you feel, um, if, some, if, some, if some person is making you feel crazy or, you know, just please use this reading as reassurance that you're not, that you're not. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like, can, can I finish now <laughs> before I'm literally a fucking puddle? Um, I love you guys so much. Like you really take me into spaces of discovery and you help me as much as I help you. Like, you know, it's just, it's so beautiful. Um, I'm going to get into, let me just, I'm going to get into these cards. We're going to get some more collective stories, okay? We're going to use the fortunes. Um, and then we'll, we'll get into your love reading too. Just let me feel out the energy and see how spirit wants to continue to unfold this for you. Excuse me. I think this rose did come out for you. I think it was this one and not the white one. There's something very symbolic that you have this red rose now. Because red roses are symbols of passion, love, um, fire elements too. Life force frequencies. Creation. Every time I see this one, I always think of Beauty and the Beast as well. There's a lot of like Pocahontas, Beauty and the Beast, um, Spirits of the Wind. But I'm getting like a very like, um, what are those movies called? The Disney movies? You ever heard the octopus? Yeah, see your, see your mind. See, see your mind. You know, what's really wild is that this energy right here in the octopus, the brain of the octopus, and I was saying it's, it's your fantasy, it's your mind. The seeds are here and they're being projected into this new world. And they're your, this is your God-given gift. This is how you manifest and you create. Look at the color here. The color in the new world is the same color within the octopus's mind, brain. It's the same color that's just it's just confirmation it's just confirmation after confirmation after confirmation i don't i'm getting this energy that you may be like journaling more the golden egg oh the golden egg wow wow we're gonna read that Anything else, spirit? I love like getting into other decks because spirit gets very meticulous 
because it's your energy like you're very meticulous in this space because you are again like you're creating very intentionally and meticulously and you're very careful with the energies and the words that you use and where you put your energy and this has a purpose to do that and this has a purpose to, to do that ten of cups right there so even like when i'm shuffling the cards i can feel how like um how careful the energy is being like chosen kind of thing to like be delivered out the tiger <laughs> this is you this is you high priestess energy the tiger one more oh my god last one go virgo thank you yeah, look at this strength with the rose and the lion at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, there's something about this rose. Like, I'm telling so this is the perfect way to stop. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Thank you to my ancestors. No, 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 no. I mean, look at this. Yeah, see, you're the son of pentacles. You're very, very careful. Very careful. I don't know why all of a sudden it got quiet for me. I think it's this tiger. You have here the four of swords and the rabbit. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here. You have been working at, at this new world since last year. You have been work it's it's been a slow it's been a slow, but it's been a long journey. But like this is your insight. Yeah, this is your transformation right now. Your worlds are transforming. This is not just a transformation of self. This is a world transformation that you are doing right now. And whatever it is that you've been creating and working on here with your God-given gift that you are sitting with, that you are understanding here with the Four of Swords, you've been working on this since last year, the year of the rabbit. But I'm also seeing that things are going to pick up. From the four swords to the rabbit energy. Things are going to pick up. You're going to pick up. You're going to move. You're going to start to pivot. All right. So just be on the lookout for these shifts and movements in your in your waking life, in your reality. Because things are going to move. You may even be moving. Okay. So there's going to be some shifts and some movements that I feel like you're ready. That you already may foresee here that you already may foresee, but I feel like you're ready here with the tiger spirit. This golden egg, I'm going to read that one for you. The golden egg, thank you. Message of the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound re resides a message. The sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Finding a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga or meditation or the hermit's cave that we talked about. If you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, there's the breath again, ask question that weighs heaviest on your heart, staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or, or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. Oh, you have listened. Oh, you have listened, Virgo. You have listened and listened and listened and listened. And you have followed that voice. That's the voice here. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's the voice. You listen to it, you listen to it, you listen to it. And you got out of that doorway. Where's that door? And you made it out. 
into your new world. You listen to that voice and that voice is your God-given gift. That's what you're listening to right now. All right. Let's continue to shift. Um, let me see where I want to go with you. Sorry, I was psychically attacked, so... <laughs> I released it, I transmuted it, but yeah, I broke out in hives. Um, comes with the game, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. So, I'm going to get some more messages for you guys. Let's see what comes out for you, what you need to know, and then we'll get into your love, okay? The many firsts that you're going to have with this person. Man holding a heart or the thinking woman. Let's see. For, for Virgo, please, Spirit. Thank you. just like fucking with me right now there's a world there's a world I'm, I'm 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 just you know there it is again new world the world i mean we're not reading that that's that's just confirmation when the energy is the energy the energy is is exactly the way that it is wow you have your door to spirit look at all these doors look at all these doors Wow, you have your cornucopia at the bottom of that. And here's action. I'm getting November, November 17th. Something also may have shifted for you or started for you on, on um, something happened on 2017, excuse me. Let's read. Listen, we get this. Okay, I feel like that's everything that we channeled. Let's read Door to Spirit. You have a lot of doors here. I feel like this one's going to, oh my God, here you go. Spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. This door opens onto the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. And that is, that's, that's back to this where we talked about the thousand little seeds that were in your mind. That's where they originated. That's where they originated. This door opens onto the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity, the source of all true value and power, your God-given gift. This door opens onto truly unlimited potential for the... Let me hold all of the doors. <laughs> And let me hold the Akashic Records up here because, I mean, this door opens onto truly unlimited potential for the changes that happen here reach deep into the core of your very being. I feel like this is also why this one here is deep, showing you the inner core of the earth. As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and a deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive and you and you do have your intuition. I mean, you becoming more intuitive, like what? <laughs> more aware of spirit's presence or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity. This is what we channeled. Your God-given gift. Let's read action. I feel like this action is what I was referring to the rabbit of movements and shifts and like pivoting. So let's see what this is about for you guys. 
energizing effort and willingness to work, this card tells you that now is a time for more aggressive forward movement. The galloping horses represent intentional, we said that, and concerted action directed to your goals. This card upright indicates that you are on the right track, but your determined efforts must increase. The white horse is inner action of spirit and thought. The black horse is the outer work that still needs to be done. So continue taking action and trust your intuition. In time, you'll break through and see the results you've been working so hard to create. I mean, again, they're just confirming everything. In time, and we also mentioned that with the Son of Pentacles, you've been working at this for a while. You're going to break through with all these doors and you're, go you're going to see the results. You're going to see the thousand tr little trees that you created that are now going to breathe life onto you. The gifts. And here's the gifts. The cornucopia. Holy shit. Thank you, spirit. Here you have wishes fulfillment. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you. And you may have, you may even find, excuse me, all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all the above. When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted Thank you, Spirit. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant ways. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now and Spirit is applauding all of your effort. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of you. Please keep going. Please keep going. All right. I know this is a long reading. Thank you for still being here with me if you're still here. Um, we're going to get into your love. And any other messages that need to come through. Okay. So in love, I said there will be many firsts with this person. Many firsts with this person. Okay. This could be new love or someone that you're currently connected to. All right, you're going to get some kind of communication from this person. Connection, communication, conversation. There's a conversation that needs to be had. I feel like this person is going to communicate to you and you have here 2-2. Two, two, so 2-2-2 two, two, two is here. Um, I'm also seeing a number 11-22. You have here within summer, the mother, or three to six months. So I'm seeing that you could be a single mom. They may be a single father. Um, I'm seeing that summertime is significant. Your birthday, um, someone's birthday, not your birthday, but someone's birthday, or maybe you're a cross watcher, I don't know, someone's birthday, summertime, um, you could get this communication in summertime, maybe you met them in summertime, I'm also seeing the year 2022, but there's some, there's something within three to six months, all right, look at this, holy shit, here's the rainbow frequency, with the rainbow, so something with the rainbow. So this manifestation is a wish being granted. It's serendipity. Patience pays off again. That's like the third time that we're seeing this now. It says manifesting wealth. So somebody could be manifesting wealth. You could be manifesting love. Again, you have this cornucopia that is talking about getting all the above. Creation here. So your creations are coming to life. Again, everything that we channeled. This is also good luck. This also says godsend. I mean, again, your God-given gift. You maybe feel it. Yep. Okay. This person's going to send you a message. You have here the messenger. Confident, passionate, champion of a cause, obeying orders. They're very strong. So you're definitely, this is the knight of like, knight of wands to me. Or the knight of pentacles. Some kind of knight will get into the tarot. But I'm seeing you're going to get a message from this person. You're going to get a message. It's fate. You have here fate. You have here fate. So keep that. I'm just, I just heard be open to what happens next. You could be waiting for a communication for someone. There's waiting. You're going to get it. 
You're going to get this communication. If you are single and you're just like, what communication am I going to get? This uh, you, a, a person may just like message you, whether they find you online. Um, yeah, happening soon. Wow, happening soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you have any worries, yeah, look at this. So some of you may be worried about your love life. You have here unconditional love, romance, soulmates, uncommon bond, devoted, always tenderness. You may be worried, very anxious, and very fearful about your romantic love life or getting into a new relationship. Um, or some of you may be fearful because you're in some kind of connection now that um, you don't really know how it's progressing or which way it's going to go. So I'm sensing some kind of worry and fear regarding your romantic love life. But spirit here wants you to relax. Spirit here wants you to trust. All right release any worries that you may have because this is an uncommon bond this is a soulmate connection that you have again like you're so powerful that your intuition and what you feel is real okay what you feel is real this person could be a bodybuilder they could be um someone who goes to the gym a lot you could also be someone who really takes good care of your body is something that i'm seeing here um there's a lot of self-improvements this person could be what they call an influencer, something that I'm seeing here, or you may be an influencer, or you may be out in public. Again, this is what I'm seeing here. Like someone may see you and they may just like get in touch with you in some in some kind of way is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Uh let's get into what uh sorry, let me grab a different deck. my apologies about you seeing my backside <laughs> i don't have time to edit shit um sorry let me just shuffle these and see what's going on yeah like i said there's many firsts with this person you could like you know first time travel first time have a baby first time um getting married like there's there's a lot of milestones that i'm seeing that will be accomplished with this person remember what i said where like you guys are in this energy where some of you are creating your soulmate like as soon as you connect with this person you are going to write your soul contract with this person and then when you re if you reincarnate in your in the next life this will be your first past life that you have had with this person so there's a lot of different people and different um contracts so just take it as it resonates you may already have a contract with this person so just take 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 this as it resonates there's definitely something with contracts here whether it's a new contract or you've met this person in a past life okay i'm seeing this person is really well established someone's wearing a white shirt right now like just plain white someone is also like really into that like modern very simplistic lifestyle is something that i'm seeing here that's for someone out there yeah okay so you have here the knight of cups see that message I'm seeing that they haven't deli delivered this yet. They're kind of sitting on their communication right now. They're sitting on their communication, but they will with that letter and this gesture forward. Yeah, with the moon. There's a lot of emotions, but they're hidden right now. Their emotions are hidden. They're not coming forward with their with this communication, but there is a messenger. There is a message that is going to be delivered. I feel like there's a lot of, you may not even know this person. You may not even know this person. Yeah, this feels very new here with the Page of Wands. Two of Cups. Some of, you, some of you are really worried. You're really worried about your love life. I feel like some of you are thinking that this isn't coming in for you here with the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Two of Cups here. I feel like you don't think that there is someone for you is what I'm picking up here. And if you're connected with a with a person, I feel like you don't see hope. You don't feel like this is going to go anywhere. It's happening soon for you, honey. It's happening soon for you. 
Yeah, six of pentacles. I feel like there's a lot of worry and fear because you've dealt with a lot of people who didn't give you the same energy that you gave to them. So there's a worry of like r repeating past hurts and past pain. And I, and I understand that. I understand that, my love. And I feel like... Um, I feel like you understand as well. Like you're very self-aware. I feel like you're not giving. I feel like you're not giving anybody your time. Like you're not extending your hand right now to anybody is something that I'm seeing. I feel like you're you're keeping it to yourself. I feel like you're definitely waiting for someone to make the first move. So you're kind of just like to yourself right now with the Eight of Swords. But you're not just to yourself. You're in your head. You're in your head and spirit wants you to just relax a little bit. I know. Sorry. Like telling someone to relax is so annoying. I get annoyed. So I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Um, but spirit wants you to like remember like these are the seeds that you have planted a thousand little seeds that turn to a thousand little trees so believe in yourself believe in your worth and what you what you deserve okay see it's interesting i was mentioning the hands like you're not giving your hand out to anybody right now because you're really focused on building you're really focused on building your legacy your work um your self-love your healing you're transmuting a lot of things right now. So I feel like you're not even really focused on love. But someone here that I feel like you don't know is focused on you or is maybe fixated on you. Here you have the tower. So this is sudden. This is unexpected. I feel like for this group that I'm picking up on, you had a sudden unexpected ending with someone. And that's what's leaving you kind of irritated and worried and stressed. Because you didn't expect an ending from someone. Yeah, three of swords. Three of swords. Yeah, I can feel it. They brought out the three of swords. That's confirmation. You had an unexpected um, breakup ending. So yeah, you're closed off. Nine of wands here. But it's coming, honey. You're going to have a lot of firsts with this person. Yeah, you have a soul connection here. Six of cups. King of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom there. What else, Spirit? And the Queen of Pentacles. This is you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this person is very intellig intelligent, very smart. This person is um, very careful of how to approach you. I feel like this is why they haven't said anything, but the King of Swords is a is typically a really good communicator, but they're very careful of the words that they choose. And I feel like they know that this is something that they need to come with you, come to you with is 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 proper energy and proper uh communication. Because you're sitting in your throne right now, you're sitting in your abundance, you're sitting in your blessings as the Queen of Pentacles. You definitely have some options here with the Seven of Cups, but again, I feel like you're not really you're not really looking. Again, you're you're focused on what you're building here. You're focused on healing, but Spirit is saying there are options that are going to be coming in for you. So look out for it. But I see someone very specifically is going to reach out to you. Is what I'm seeing here. Okay, last card. Yeah, Three of Wands in the near future. <laughs> They're saying in the near future, your future is looking good when it comes to love. Three of wands, two of two of cups, and here you have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, page of cups. Someone see again, someone is someone new is gonna reach out to you. I don't I don't know. I see like you're kind of not really not really looking. Yeah, you're not looking for it because you're in your hermit cave. You're in your hermit cave, you're in your new world. There's the world again, everything that we channeled in your spiritual growth message. So I feel like you're focused elsewhere with your intuition and the things that you're building and manifesting and working on your God-given gift that you're not focused on love right now, but it's definitely going to come in very unexpected for you and it's going to surprise you here with the Nine of Cups. So this is what I'm seeing for you, Virgo.
um i love you guys so very much thank you for allowing me to read for you today thank you for trusting me with your energy first and foremost that is the most important thing is your trust so i really do value that and i do not take advantage of that i truly truly honor your energy and your space and that's why like i got really emotional because i feel i feel you i feel your power i feel your desire and and how hard you're working and please know that spirit at is proud of you your ancestors are proud of you i am proud of you um you can um you can get a personal reading from me that is open um link is in the description below to my website and you can also join the channel for memberships so thank you guys again i love you and i will see you next time bye